Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to ETS2. Today guys, we're going to be using the, the Scanner. Now this is actually the third axle Scanner, but unfortunately there was no loads in the area for me to pick up. So we're going to haul these ambulances. These are Russian ambulances. This is a mod. It's on the workshop. We got 222 miles to go. So let's get on, get on the road. We'll go ahead and let our wheel down and turn our lights on here. Hopefully we can get a thumbnail. Hope everyone's doing well. Turn left. Turn right. I want to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing to the channel. Thank you for the support that we've been getting over here on the channel. I really do appreciate it. Turn left. And I'm really trying to do more, guys. I did take a week or week off. Um, I had a lot of stuff here to hear that's been going on. Um, a lot that's been going on. So, you know, it, it's been hard. But I am back. I am uh, currently looking for more work. I'm trying to find something that gives me the opportunity to keep doing this. And uh, getting content out of you guys. And um, where well, you'll have videos. Because this, this is what I want to do. I, um, all the time. Keep right and then turn right. So we're going to stop right here and see if we can get a thumbnail. Kind of up on this light right here. Uh, cannot wait for the new um, photo. SCS is redoing the photo um, thing here in G... In, uh, both ATS and ETS2 and I can't wait for that. That way when we do thumbnails uh, photos like this with it being dark we just gonna have a slider where you can make it daylight. And it's gonna make it a whole lot better. So can't wait for that. That's gonna be great to see right. that they're doing that. You won't have the, the issue with having dark thumbnails no more. We're going to turn that map off, because we don't need that on. So I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're enjoying Go the videos. Um, I did take a week off. I'm trying to get here and do some, I'm trying to get here and do more stuff for you guys. Um, has not really been a lot that's come out. Um, if you have heard, um, SCS has announced Convoy, which is the official multiplayer for ETS2 and ATS through STS. Um, it does have um, traffic. You can have up to eight friends in, in a convoy. Um, as of right now there's no mods allowed. Eventually I think that will they will have, be able to have mods uh, but as of right now it is in beta. So right, right now you, you can't have mods but it's great to see, you know, what they've done and, and what they're doing to improve things, make things better. I, I'm loving to see see everything that's going on, you know. Get ready to turn left. That's why I went ahead and took that thumbnail because I don't left. know if we're going to have time to, um, if it's going to get daylight on us to, to take a good one. That's the reason why I went ahead and took it.
Like the rain has stopped. Let me look at the time here. We're... Oop, I hit the wrong button. I was trying to pull up the menu to um, look at the time, see what time we're supposed to be there, and I hit the wrong button. We're supposed to, we're scheduled right now to be there at 7, 7.30 a.m. I end up doing part of that. Give me just a sec, guys. I do apologize for that, guys. People know not to be called my number at this time today, but they do it anyways. Sorry about that. So I hope everyone stood well. I do apologize for the phone ringing. Um, I did forget to put it on silent. That was my fault, and uh, I take total blame for it. Um, but hope everyone stood well. Um, hope you've been enjoying the content. Um, LS Pity Far will continue. Um, unfortunately, I did have to go back to Jurisdiction Three, um, and the, the games were not running good at all. Well, multiple jurisdictions. Excuse me, um, did not mean to do that in the microphone. It was not running very good at all. Um, I did uh, put some more, um, unmarks in, and it seems to run better with their normal slots and some unmarks. I mean, it does a lot better, so. Close that back up. So maybe we'll get a little bit more light here. We can get a little bit better thumbnail.
If you have not heard too, guys, there, SCS is working on another truck, the ETS-2. Um, we have not got one yet, but ETS, honestly, I don't know if we will see a new truck this year, which is okay for me. I mean, personally, I really would like to see them update the older trucks in the game and do that before they bring a new one. Um, we don't know if that's what they're going to do. Uh, they did say earlier this year that we would be getting trucks this year for ATS, but they have not announced anything. And I'm going to say if we do get one, the probably the, what we'll get is probably the Volvo, uh, the Exit, newer Volvo. Yes. The new, newer body style, uh, you know, for the Volvo truck, the V&N. Uh, but they have not said. I need to turn that off. I don't know if we had to get, I don't think we had to get on no ferry. Now, let me take a look at the map here real quick, just to see. I think we're going to be staying on ground. You're not going to have to get on no ferry or no train. Let me see here. Oh yeah, we're, we're good. Wasn't that real positive if we had to get on the ferry or get on the train, anything like that? But it's low. I don't play ETS as much as I do ATS, so. Turn right. Was it that positive? But and you can't turn red. It's gonna pull up a little bit here. We'll see where we're at here, and I do it every time. Got 137 miles to go. Go straight on. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Did it again. I'm trying to close the wrong thing, what I'm doing.
So I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I don't really talk a lot in these videos, guys, because I've had a lot of comments about they, they like it more. They like to hear the truck and they uh, look at the sights and stuff like that. They don't want to hear me talking a lot in there. They just want to see the truck and the sights and stuff like that. So, and I understand that. I mean, I, I like that too. Um, but also, I, I do like to hear the talk of the person sometimes too. So, this uh, playing the game. So, but I do understand where everybody's coming from. So, I want to try to make everybody happy as much as possible with the videos. Go straight on. Also, guys, don't forget to check out uh, my other YouTube channel. Also, I have a uh, uh, Twitter. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, and Twitch is a uh, video live stream over there. Have not done one in a little bit. Like I said, been kind of busy doing some other things. Uh, I want to get back into it, um, but also been doing a little bit on uh, Facebook live stream over there. Just kind of see which one is better for me. All my modded ATS videos for modded trucks, they go on the second YouTube channel. Everything else goes on the first, as so for right now. Um, I may put some other, other content over there too, on the second channel. Also, you can follow us on Facebook. We have a Facebook page of Barnett Gaming. You can go over there and follow us there. All the YouTube channels are uploaded over there. If you can't catch it on YouTube, you will well, actually technically it will still be on YouTube. It just I just uploaded over there. We got 88 miles to go. This speed limit here is 43. We're getting a little bit more light. I am going to go ahead and grab one more thumbnail, guys, just in case the other one is not bright enough where you can see everything. I think this one will be a little bit better. There we go. 
Just in case the first one wasn't bright enough, we'll have another one later that we can use a little bit brighter, you know. If you haven't heard, SCS is going to be redoing the photo um, center. I guess you could say for ATS and ETS2, where you'll have a slider where, like, if it's dark and you need to take a thumbnail, you can actually make it daylight in the thumbnail. Which is going to be pretty cool. Now, guys, too, if you if you don't fall, if you don't come over and watch uh, ATS, um, I can tell you that I am more used to using STS trucks. Um, I do use modded trucks sometimes on this on my second profile over there. I've got where I use them more uh, for you guys. Uh, as far as me, I, I like using STS trucks because they're more real than a lot. These, a lot of these modded trucks, don't get me wrong, I mean, the modders, they do a great job. Um, Biper, as you know, his 389 is one of the best. Or a free mod. And he does an awesome job with the truck. I mostly use SS trucks because I know that when they buy trucks from company, companies go out and buy trucks, they're not going to be all customized. They're going to be bone stock. That's what companies buy. And that's pretty much what SCS trucks are, you know, and that's where the manufacturer wants them to make them, and that's where they make them. Oh, okay, we'll turn our whole headlights back on. I don't know why, it's daytime. Oh man, it looks so good. It looks so good. Got our passengers with us today.
roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. Oh, we're almost there. Okay. Go straight on. Roundabout, take the third exit. Exit now. Ready to turn right. Turn right. Turn right. All right, we're here. You have arrived at your destination. Your wrap guidance is now finished. See where they want them. Yeah, guys, I, I know that the truck has chrome rims. To me, it looks better. I, I don't like the uh, default rims. I'm not a really big European truck person, but to me, these, these look better than These are a little bit different to buy. All right, we drove excellent. We drove 222 miles. It took us five hours and 48 minutes to get here. We consumed 38.4 gallons of fuel.
Ready to roll. So we'll go ahead and hook up this next other uh, trailer over here. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Once again, I do apologize for the phone ringing. It should not have been ringing. <clears throat> I want to say thank you for everyone that's watching the channel. Thank you for everyone that's been subscribing. And have a good day.